this is Eric Walzakowski here, CEO of Bespoke Partners and host of Tailored Talent. Today, I am joined with one of my partners, board members, and investors in Bespoke Partners, Ravi Sarin, who is the co-founder of AEA Growth. Ravi, welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, delighted to be on it and uh, look forward to our conversation. Yeah, today, what I was hoping to talk about is one of our favorite subjects is the executive search industry, the opportunities in executive search as we think about talent. And I know, Ravi, I mean, from the private equity perspective, you're one of the pioneers in the space. I mean, you've been looking at this space for a long time. What were some of the attributes that attracted you to this space as an investor? Yeah, um, starting with strategy as a firm, AEA Growth is focused on investing in professional services companies. And so we've looked across different end markets in professional services. And for a number of years, we've had interest in the executive search industry. Uh, at the highest level, it's a large industry that's growing. Uh, the need for uh, talent, as we think about um, how important uh, executive talent is in shaping the growth of, of businesses, uh, the need for the services continues to be very strong. I, we don't believe that will go away in, in any scenario. Um, and as productivity grows, in some ways, the opportunity cost of not having the right person in the right seat uh, is, is only growing as well, making the, the value that executive search provides uh, even more valuable over time. Um, but as we looked at the industry, you know, what we see across the board is the industry has not evolved uh, that much. It, uh, it, if we think about you know, ultimately what the role is of an executive recruiter to build relationships with talent on one side and then help bring that talent to a company on the other uh, to work with companies directly as well as, as sponsors who have a portfolio of companies. Um, even as the industry has grown and matured and even as executive search firms have scaled, they have not really taken advantage of scale benefits. And so what's exciting for us as investors is to think through what's another model within executive search that as a business scales can drive to a better client experience, better service delivery, as well as drive to more value for the recruiters themselves and make it the most attractive place to work. And we believe that's, that's achievable. And, and I think we've had success uh, working with Bespoke as well as another firm in investing in technology that can support better service delivery, as well as support the workflow for recruiters uh, that ultimately uh, relies on scale and, and gets even more valuable with scale. And, and for us, that's what's exciting as investors is to be able to help improve the industry uh, for clients and for recruiters. No, absolutely. And I really like the way you heightened. Look, we've got a market that is growing and is becoming even more important as business becomes competitive in this process. And so from an investor, I've got a great market. And then you lay out opportunities to innovate within those markets. And I think, again, when we think about bespoke partners, I mean, some of our basic business themes are around blocking and tackling in the commercial organization, uh, blocking and tackling around serving clients and blocking and tackling around people because this is a people business. And so the better that we attract, develop, belong, retain people, um, the better we're going to be as an organization and the better outcomes we're going to drive for our clients. One of the things that, you know, is the big talk of the day is tech enablement and tech enablement in professional services. Talk about what tech enablement means to you within the context of executive search. Yeah, so I think there's a lot of different avenues for applying technology in the executive search process. I mean, I think at the end of the day, no matter how great technology is, it's not going to replace the need for experienced recruiters who can be consultative to companies that are looking for talent as well as consultative to the individuals that they're looking to recruit uh, because there is uh, a relationship component, there's a trust component uh, that technology cannot displace. Um, that being said, I think technology can enhance the process uh, across every facet of the recruiting process. I think on, on one side, and I think this is where uh, initially technology was applied in executive search was um, how do we make the kind of the user in, uh, interface or kind of the customer experience uh, more seamless in terms of seeing which candidates are available, maybe providing some input on those candidates. I think that's kind of the inning number one of, of technology adoption within executive search. And I think one where um, it's helpful, but maybe less transformative. Um, I think that where technology can be much more transformative is to really enhance what the recruiters are doing from a workflow standpoint. So the first is identifying uh, the right talent for the role. Of course, there's the Rolodex and the existing relationships, but how do you really match 
those relationships to a specific opportunity. And I think technology can be helpful in terms of pattern recognition and the signals that may be valuable to say, this is the right person for this role and why, and, and frankly enhance what may be intuitive with data. Um, and I think the other element is to enable recruiters to really spend more time uh, focused on client service, client delivery, as well as more time fostering relationships with talent and less time with a lot of the administrative components of the workflow. And I think that's another area where, at least with Bespoke, we've been heavily investing is, is those two areas. Identifying talent uh, through multiple sets of data in addition to the relationships that the Bespoke recruiters have established, and then uh, reducing the amount of time and energy spent on what I'd say lower value add activities so that there's more time in the day to work directly with clients and what their needs are and work directly with, with talent and building those relationships. No, absolutely. And I really love how you frame that because I think the early innings were what I would call maybe low hanging fruit, low, low tech uh, lift uh, around uh, rendering information in a way that is, is better received by clients. But I think the fundamental shifts that we're seeing in the industry is really the manipulation of data. And when I think about the future of the industry, I, I like to use the analogy that our search professionals are artists. And if we follow the painting analogy, our job with the tech stack is to really make sure that they have all of the colors of the color wheel, or in this case, all of the executives that possibly could fill the role at their disposal. And then the tech stack actually guides them in different directions to, to shades that may be a little bit more effective uh, in solving the problems. And so it, it's such a beautiful analogy where what we're, we're doing here at Bespoke, right, is we're really driving highest and best out of our recruiters and the work that only they uniquely can do and leveraging technology to, to, to do the rest, which to me uh, is, is the fundamental value that we're going to capture out of tech in, in this. Wouldn't you agree? I totally agree. I mean, I think you, you're definitely much more articulate than I am in, in kind of walking through the, the value of technology adoption. But yeah, very exciting to see what Bespoke has already done uh, and what we're continuing to work towards to, to further enhance both the recruiter experience as well as the client experience with technology. No, absolutely. And so as we think about Bespoke, I mean, obviously we're very excited. We just, we're coming off a record Q1. Uh, we're knocking the operational milestones out of the park in terms of tech development, uh, customer expansion, people experience at Bespoke. What do you think about the future of private equity in the recruiting industry? Are there going to be more entrants? Do you see more disruption? How do you see that shaping up? Yeah, I, I mean, I think that ultimately, as we think about the industry, uh, it's a large industry that's underpenetrated by private equity today. I think if we look at other professional services industries, they've gone through an evolution where there was very little private equity investment. And as a few investments got done and companies had success, there was a lot more interest and awareness of the opportunity to invest. And I think, um, you know, I think we're in the early innings today of, of people uh, looking at the executive search industry as an area for investment. Um, but those who have made investments, I think, have seen success. And I think they've, they've done so by helping support uh, firm scale and, and, and generate the benefits from scale. Um, but I think ultimately, the other component that's important is how, what is the business model design? You know, ultimately, I think that in the executive search industry, what we've seen with very large firms today, some of the most established firms, is that the way they approach uh, service delivery and the search process is not very different than a small firm, right? Ultimately, it's a collection of recruiters who build their own book of business and relationships and, and try to do everything they can to, to monetize those relationships. It's very much a, a um, almost like a mercenary type industry of like, a, or like I'd say, call it like a broker agent model akin to the real estate model. And I think where there's a, a much bigger opportunity for, for private equity is to invest behind models like we see with Bespoke that have really built more of a, uh, a team-based approach and even you know, a company uh, providing the set of services, of course, led by a recruiting partner uh, and team, um, but really a team-based approach where there are real scale benefits and there's collaboration uh, and really finding the best recruiting team for any specific search need uh, and creating high degrees of specialization. Because I think that's the other area where we would say there's a real need to improve in the executive search industry. I think a lot of uh, firms today operate, both big firms and large firms operate and try to serve a lot of clients across functional area or even across sector. 
And it's hard to do that successfully, right? I think you can have very talented recruiters end up getting spread too thin in terms of the amount of coverage area that they have uh, that would make them less effective than if they had a really strong focus. And, and so what we really gravitated towards with Bespoke was that focus, which is not only is it software focus in terms of end market, but that the team is organized by functional area. So everyone is an expert, not just in either an industry or a functional area, but really the combination of the two. And I think that's very important because that ensures that the recruiter has a lot more experience in a specific domain, which will make them more knowledgeable in ultimately what clients are looking for, but also help them broaden their base of relationships on the other side, because you can't know everybody, right? There's only so much time in the day. And I think that in terms of private equity's role in executive search, it would be great to see private equity support what I call this next chapter of business model design within executive search, which is this overlap of, of industry focus and functional area focus to ultimately lead to better, better outcomes for clients. No, I, absolutely. And I, I love how you point that out because search is a big market. And I think it actually would be great for more private equity entrants when you think about other sectors, whether it's nonprofit, pure play healthcare, uh, elements of international, there's opportunities with that focus. And I think that was the key that you hit on, which attracted me to this is focus at the end of the day wins. And so if I'm focusing on an end market, ours is software. If I'm focusing on a function, I'm just going to be able to serve the clients better, which means we're going to get better executives in these private equity and software companies. They're going to create more good jobs. The economy is going to keep going. And, and I mean, candidly, that's why I get up in the morning, right? Is to, is to, to serve this, this, this economy and the opportunity to grow. But the other thing I, I think you, you, you pointed out that just making a sharp point on is continuing to drive the work to people who are uniquely qualified to do the work. And that's something in our team-based approach, which is phenomenal. And, and we've had a lot of success in the market and recruiting folks because we support our partners with a full team, a recruiter. Uh, we've got an analyst, we've got an industry analyst and a search coordinator that encapsulates, encapsulates that in addition to technology, which again, allows people to do their highest and best work. And you know, as, as through this journey, I've truly enjoyed partnering you with you, the team at AEA, um, because you, you really get the market, you get the industry, and you've just been a great thought partner as we look to disrupt the industry. And I'm, I'm just grateful for our collaboration and partnership. Well, we've been excited to partner with you and the Bespoke team and, and excited about what's in store for not only the rest of the year, this year, but uh, the years to come. Fantastic. Well, Robbie, thanks for joining the show today. Look forward to having you back sometime in the future. All right. Thanks so much, Eric. Appreciate it. Thank you.